Hey Amanda, what's up? Alright, so. Alright. I need a little bit more lat engagement with the bar before you unrack it. And what I mean is you're going to apply more force down towards your feet. Almost like you're doing a straight arm pull down. So, create tension down this way. Uh, when you do it right, what will happen is, watch the bar and watch how it kind of goes up first and then forward. Alright. So, kind of goes straight up a little bit and then forward. Um, it's considerably better than what it was. Um, but, I think we should lower the J-hooks just a smidge. Alright, and I think that will help with that because look at the clearance it's like literally like that much and it could be if you were to set your shoulders down even more aggressively you might not be able to get it over the j-hook so lower the j-hooks a little bit get the shoulders set and pull harder down on the bar I think that will uh, help kind of clean clean up your uh, unracking okay yep we got a little bit a little bit of movement at the bottom here. Just notice how the forearm's kind of sliding forward a little bit. So as you're coming down, I want you to kind of think about pulling the bar apart and think about like rowing it down, okay? It looks like you're losing tightness at the bottom. So just kind of create tightness in the bar by pulling it apart and think about rowing the bar down and we'll see if that helps kind of tighten up that bottom position, okay? All right. Yeah, how did you like the sandbags from the box? I, um, I've never really done that before, so um, I figured I'd give that a shot. And, um, I mean, you were able to get the sandbag on the back. And let's see here. No, sorry about these. These are recommendations PT last night. I plan to talk to you about it tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, let's talk about that tonight. Um, I could add those into your warm-ups. Um, or we could just kind of incorporate those into your training sessions as we go forward. Um, that's all I got for you. I'll see you tonight, okay?